Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, June 3rd, 2020. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Saturday night, we have a full moon with the moon rising at sunset and setting at sunrise in the hour for about in the sky for about 10 hours. We're going to start things a little backwards this week and look at the climatology and then get into the day-to-day -day weather. Uh, look at the drought. Uh, conditions. It has been a while since we've had any significant rainfall in the southern half of the state, especially southwest as you can see. So we have varying degrees of drought conditions all the way down to the New Mexico border with extreme drought. Northern Colorado, we're still doing fine up here. We've been getting some good shots of water. Speaking of good shots of water, we can take a look back at the month of May and the total amount of water that fell through that time around Longmont, Fort Collins, east of Denver and east of Colorado Springs out on the Northeast Plains, a widespread two to three inches and many places getting even four and five inches in a few spots more. The northern mountains and the western slopes are a little drier with half inch to a couple inches and in overall and southwestern Colorado is still quite dry with just trace of rain or tenth of an inch, quarter inch, not much. So hopefully we'll see that change. Let's take a look. Also starting with the overview of the week because there's a really clear signal here of lots of heat. Temperatures in the low to mid 90s. Very warm nighttime temperatures with a cool down coming next week. Our wettest days are Wednesday, today, and the day the video goes up, and Saturday night, still the chances of rain are not great. Looking at the GFS Ensemble, normal temperatures are high for red, lows for blue, starting Wednesday here. You can see for the next five, six days, Temperatures are far above normal, especially the nighttime temperatures. Look at the gap between normal and the expected lows. It's not until we begin next week that we really see that drop off. There's our Saturday chance of showers. The Wednesday chance of showers aren't showing up in the GFS. It may just be that severe weather, little dry lines set up, will materialize east of I-25 and skip Longmont and Fort Collins, Denver, for the most part. Next week, more showers, but that's a long ways out. Water vapor satellite image shows lots of moisture streaming out of a low off of the California coast up into the mountains and plains. We have this interesting low down here. This is being investigated for tropical development. This certainly could become a tropical storm or hurricane moving up. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. And we have a big high pressure system with a large strong ridge right about over Colorado. What we see is where you have an upper air ridge, the tropical systems like to go up inside. They don't do well in an environment where the air is moving quickly at different directions and different speeds with height in the atmosphere. They like the big stagnant high pressure systems where there's very little wind shear aloft. Looking at moisture, if you take a look at the Longmont leader discussion over the past few days, we've had a lot of moisture in the Intermountain West. The greens are precipitatable water. This is a model prediction of how much moisture could be squeezed out of the atmosphere in, say, a really good thunderstorm. And it's definitely dropped. We, are, we have seen more browns here and, and white colors showing uh, below normal precipitatable water. A lot down here and an awful lot in the Gulf with that tropical development happening. But there is a little flow from the Gulf and from the Pacific into the West still. For Wednesday, we have a oh, very weak quasi-stationary front draped around here. We have a little low, not very strong, sitting in southwest Kansas. So it gives you a little bit of a surface 
focus and if you get some support above and the moisture around we might see some weather and some of that might be severe right now the storm prediction center out of norman has a marginal chance of severe weather this is for hail and high winds damaging winds with thunderstorms and it's just a few miles east of longmont east of i-25 until you're up around the Cheyenne area and that can certainly change it's still a day away for Friday and the rest of the week this ridge just continues to be the monster so this is hasn't moved at all from what we saw in the satellite image from Tuesday our trough in the west is moved in just a little bit but overall this pattern is not changing much our low down here in the Gulf if it gets a name by this point, uh, it's very possible, it is getting its act together, getting a little stronger, nice closed circulation aloft here. With that giant ridge dominating the nation, we have very warm above normal temperatures. Oranges and reds here are temperatures above normal. Blues are temperatures below normal. So this is not actual temperature, just easier to see departure from normal. And it's pretty much baking from Maine to California, just areas where you have a lot more moisture down here in the Gulf and a little cool air up in Canada, that's about it. So over the next five days, the precipitation we're looking at, well, we do see some rain in the mountains. We, we expect some thunderstorm activity to give up to an inch or two in a few lucky spots. Uh, so a lot of the southern counties maybe get a quarter inch a half inch that's better than nothing so we'll be we'll be happy with that right around here we're sticking around a quarter inch or less and up here in Nebraska you see some significant springtime thunderstorm water totals over the next 10 days we bump up to quarter inch to half inch territory the mountains don't really change a lot more rain up here in Nebraska and Wyoming. So not a really big uh, change in incoming water for the next 10 days. Our next change does come Monday, Tuesday next week as that trough in the west finally gets a little reinforcement and starts to move in. Now we're on the uphill side of the trough and we have cool air coming in. So we should see more stormy activity, and that's what we saw on the uh, GFS Ensemble before. This is Tuesday next week, and here's our low remnant from whatever storm uh, forms down here in the Gulf and comes up. Take a look at the model. This is called Tropical Depression 03L or 3L, and it you know, all these different models all make their best guess of what going to happen to this storm uh, if and when it forms and you can see a lot of them are going into east texas coast or western louisiana central uh, louisiana so that's worth watching this week as we like we didn't need any more big news but it's it's just worth watching so once again take a look out of the week we've got 90s, upper 90s going on into the weekend. A little cool down with a little better chance of showers on Saturday afternoon and evening. We really dry out and get hot on Sunday as the ridge reestablishes itself before, sorry, before the trough moves in early next week and bringing a cool down and a chance of showers. For more local news, more frequent weather posts, take a look at the Longmont Leader. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Keep looking up.